Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Operation Mekong, a high-octane action film from 2016 that was a China-Hong Kong co-production. Now this is kind of based on a true story. In October 2011, the 13 crew members of two Chinese cargo ships were shot to death on the Mekong River, which runs through the Golden Triangle and a large amount of methamphetamine drugs were recovered from the crime scene. In response to this, the, the Chinese government <clears throat> dispatches an anti-narcotics task force into the area to investigate, and there they team up with an intelligence officer for a dangerous mission that takes them deep into the lawless jungles of the Golden Triangle and the lair of a ruthless drug lord. Now, I looked up the Golden Triangle while I was preparing for this review, and I found this real-life information on uh, Wikipedia that I did not know before. So, quote, The Golden Triangle is one of Asia's two main opium-producing areas. It is an area of, of uh, around 950,000 square kilometers, or 367,000 square miles, that overlaps the mountains of three countries in Southeast Asia. Myanmar, Laos, and Thailand. Now, along with Afghanistan in the Golden Crescent, it has been one of the most extensive opium-producing areas of Asia and of the world since the 1950s. And most of the world's heroin came from the Golden Triangle until the early 21st century when Afghanistan became the world's largest producer, unquote. Now, I never knew that those particular countries produced the most heroin in the entire world. And Operation Mekong is the partially true story, we'll get to that later, of a multinational task force that was sent in to handle a few of the bigger drug lords in the Golden Triangle. Now, although there are a handful of protagonists introduced in this film, two of the actors really step to the forefront in this, get the most screen time, and carry the film from start to finish. Han Yu Zhang and Eddie Peng. Now, Han Yu Zhang previously appeared in films such as The Taking of Tiger Mountain, Special ID, Bodyguards and Assassins, and The Message, as well as The Equation of Love and Death and Assembly. So this guy's been in some really good stuff. The thing I like most about this particular actor is his screen presence. He has a very commanding presence that keeps you engaged. With, you know, I could watch this guy like do laundry and I would be entertained. He just has that look and that presence, you know? And with regard to Eddie Peng, I just covered him last week when I reviewed Call of Heroes, so it's always nice to see him in, in a film as well. Now, one criticism that I've read regarding this movie is that the story and the character development <clears throat> are rather thin. I would generally agree with that criticism. Uh, the structure of the film basically goes like this. The narcotics unit gets intel uh, about one of the drug lords, or someone who is associated with one of the drug lords, and they immediately take action, okay? Now, sometimes it's an infiltration and undercover sting operation. Other times, it's an extraction scene or a, like a pseudo-rescue mission that takes place in a hostile area where it's more confrontational. Now, these infiltrations and extractions may last anywhere between like 10 to 30 minutes of screen time each, depending on the complexity of the particular mission. But in between the missions, our protagonists basically, you know, kind of uh, have meetings a little bit, you know, get ready for the next, uh, I guess, uh, piece of intel they get to continue their gradual elimination of this, this uh, drug lord's operations. So there's really not a whole lot of time to add complexity or depth to these characters. Um, but with that said, Operation Mekong more than compensates for this flaw with blistering paste and action set pieces. Now, the action design is mostly gritty and diverse with, you know, an emphasis on urban apprehensions and special ops strikes that involve gunplay and some hand-to-hand -hand combat along the way that does get quite violent at times. There are a few intense scenes involving children and oppressed vi villagers as well. Now, this creates a sense of thrill and suspense, even though it does get a bit unrealistic, uh, especially in terms of just how much damage our two heroes can take. Uh, it's definitely neat stuff, though. 
you know, incorporating some creative equipment and technology along the way, as well as one of the coolest dogs in recent memory. The dog in this movie, I think his name was Bingo or something, is awesome. And his usefulness during these action scenes contributes a certain creativity that you don't see very often in action movies. I know some reviewers uh, think he's the best thing in the film. And the sheer quantity of action is also significant, meaning that, you know, things keep moving at a brisk pace. A few other positives that I would like to mention is that there are some beautiful natural environments, as well as some great overhead shots of various country locales. Uh, the international conflict and the cast are also a nice mix. You get some diversity there. Um, so, yeah, you know, some people complained that you know, this was a little bit too over-the-top and action-y for, like, a story that's based on a on a true story. I think some people were looking for more of a drama here because you, you want to kind of honor the people because there's some people died in this these these confrontations, you know what I mean? But this film kind of takes that, that skeleton, that structure, and it, it makes, like, a... I wouldn't call this over-the-top action. You know, this isn't like a... Uh, you know, CGI extravaganza or anything like that. Like, it's explosive, it's got tons of action, but it has a certain groundedness to it and a certain grittiness to it that I think is, uh, you know, it benefits. So, I know some people complain that they would have preferred a more dramatic take on this, but given what the film is, I really liked it. It's a no-nonsense, crowd-pleasing action film from director Dante Lamb, who previously directed The Beast Stalker, The School, the Stool Pigeon, Beast Cops, Fire of Conscience, Unbeatable, and To the Four. So this guy's got some good ones under his belt. Check out more of his movies if you haven't seen those already. Now, Operation Mekong has not yet been released on DVD in the United States, but most fortunately, it has been released on Region 3 DVD with English subtitles. So check this one out if you, if you want a good, uh, a good solid action movie. And as always... We will see you next time.